Hey, you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Introduce yourself for fresh and experienced candidates. Table of contents. Self introduction tips. First impression is the last impression. How to introduce yourself. Stick to the context. In the case of professional setting, talk about who you are and what you do. Make it relevant. Talk about your contribution. Go beyond what your title is. In case of an interview, dress the part, prepare what you are going to say, body language, the before, during, and the after. Self-introduction tips. A self-introduction is any form of interaction that tells who you are, what you do, and what others need to know. Since others vary in every single case, the last part is interchangeable, but the first two parts mostly remain the same. A good self-introduction covers all three parts within a limited set of words so people can understand who they are interacting with. A few situations where you are required to introduce yourself are Giving an interview or interviewing somebody Meeting somebody new in a professional or casual gathering Meeting people at a meeting Hiring somebody Building new connections Traditionally and quite successfully, the professional self-introduction requires your name, who you are, your occupation, what you do, or what you intend to be if you are not working right now, and lastly some facts that will create a nice impression on the person you are interacting with, what others need to know about you. Try to cover the most important things that others need to know about you by wrapping them up in these three cues. First impression is the last impression. A good introduction with anybody will help you build connections and acquaintances. It will assist you in providing the necessary details while ensuring it does not sound like a speech, whether it is a written intro or a spoken one. In cases where you don't have somebody to introduce yourself, you must offer a proper self-introduction that's engaging and remarkable in a way that the other party remembers who you are the next time you come across. It helps in making the right impression. A positive first introduction goes a long way in ensuring that you will be considered solidly. How to introduce yourself. Stick to the context. The essential thing to understand before introduce yourself is the context of the situation you are in. The place, environment, and gathering matters. Every case is different, so it is better that you understand whether it's a professional introduction that you require or a casual one. If it is a professional one, then you need to understand the room. Hence, all scenarios vary and it is important that you consider the context. In the case of professional setting, talk about who you are and what you do. The first tip in any professional setup is to introduce yourself by telling your name and telling what you do. Telling your professional title by a simple sentence of what you do is a nice way of introduce yourself to such gatherings. Make it relevant. Take care of the context. It is by far the essential tip for any introduction. You cannot be talking about technology in an environment that has nothing to do with it and vice versa. Talk about your contribution. In professional settings, it is paramount that you talk about what you bring to the table. You build your value by talking about how you have contributed to the project or the company since the new people or the people outside your circle will not know what your constructions are. Go beyond what your title is. Honestly, your job title does not mean much unless you are a CEO or a chief officer of some kind, in which case it is self-explanatory. Your job title does not tell much about what you do so it is better to talk about what you really do in the job. In case of an interview, dress the part. The dressing is one of the most basic and vital presentation tips. It's also essential in personality building. For example, you cannot dress casually when you go for an interview, so the first thing, dress the part you want to get. Prepare what you are going to say. If you have an interview in the morning, 
you should consider writing what you are going to say down on paper and practicing in front of a paper. It will help you build up fluency. Preparing what you are going to say in advance is one of the vital presentation tips. Not only just for an interview, but it will also help you in personality building as a whole. Body language. In interviews, body language is key. It speaks a lot about your confidence and who you are. For example, keep yourself relaxed, your shoulders back, and your chest high. It will help you in communicating well with the interviewer. The before, during, and the after. Before the interview, when you arrive at the building, you introduce yourself to the receptionist like this. Hi, I am XYZ. I have an interview at 1 p.m. for the XYZ role. After that, you may be seated or if you are on time, you will be taken to the room for your interview. Whoever you must meet, you stand up and greet them with a nice handshake. Once you meet your interviewer, you introduce yourself properly. During the interview, you make sure to drink the water that's there for you and answer everything with determination and a balanced pace. After the interview, you get up and you say a proper goodbye to the interview by saying something but not necessarily this. It was a pleasure meeting you. I appreciate you giving me your time today. Hope to see you again.